all of you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A. So if you have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video and use this Ask Mark hashtag to get your question featured in an up and coming video. But in the meantime, I'll do my best to actually type out an answer uh, so you do get an answer as soon as possible. And the community as well, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, they do like to answer questions, which is awesome of them. Uh, so yeah, if you are in the comment section and you do see an unanswered question, question or even an answered question and you want to throw in your two cents uh, by all means let them know um, do them a solid let them know um, today I'm answering a question about vintage twin hose regulators how they work from Yggdrasil So Yggdrasil says, how did those cool old timey two hose regulators work? They look like a rebreather loop, so maybe one way valves, and why were they used? Twin hose regulators are pretty cool. I've got an old set here that's in a bit of a, a state, unfortunately, and needs a lot of repair. Um, they're vaguely similar to a rebreather loop with a um, uh, just a real basic DSV, but all of the action is really at the back and at the bit that attaches to the cylinder valve. The exact mechanism varies between models, but the chunky part that attaches to your cylinder is basically a combination first and second stage kind of rolled into one. There's a diaphragm inside here, just like a modern second stage, and an air chamber connected to one of the hoses and the, the hoses themselves aren't pressurized. When you inhale, the pressure inside of the hose and then inside of the chamber, that changes and the chamber drops and that pulls in the diaphragm and that opens up the valve. Then it's yeah mainly down to one-way valves, but they're pretty clever. This one needs a lot of work and um, yeah, I just haven't been bother to uh, to find repair and replacement hoses um, they, they do deteriorate over time um, but yeah basically it's it's yeah a combination first and second stage and yeah you've got a big diaphragm inside here this would attach we can see the the a clamp here that attaches onto your cylinder valve so the pressure's coming in and and then similar to a second stage design, you have a lever on the inside that's just touching on that membrane. When you inhale, you suck down that diaphragm. The diaphragm pushes the lever down, which opens up the valve, and then gas would flow in through the hose, um, through several one-way valves. You inhale it, and then when you exhale, the one-way valve will prevent it from going back, but it would go down the second hose, and then it would vent out of the, the top here. So a lot of photographers quite like them. Uh, there are some modern versions. Um, I don't know if they still make them. I know Aqualung made the Mistral. Um, and, oh, there is another brand. Oh, I've forgotten their name. And they made some really nice one. I want to say Kraken. Um, they they were struggling to get certain parts after um, uh, after lockdown and COVID and everything, um, so that that really slowed down their um, their production cycle. I don't know if they're back up to their um, uh, to one hundred percent, but yeah, they make modern versions with modern materials and silicones and all that kind of stuff. Um, and they, they still function in like a, a more modern way. One of the downsides is that, yeah, because it's not um, pressurized, the, uh, the hoses, that, uh, yeah, you, you still get um, like water ingress into these hoses um, until it meets a, a one-way valve. Uh, if I can go get this old one off. You can see we have these one-way valves that will allow you to, no, I've actually taken that one out. It will allow you to inhale through one side and exhale through the other. Um, so that would be the inhale and that would be the, uh, the exhale, but I've taken that, uh, that mushroom valve out, um, which is kind of similar to a, a rebreather. They, um, they just force this continuous loop to go round and round and round through one-way mushroom valves. That's why it's so important to do those pre-dive checks um, to um, uh, to check the um, uh, the valves functioning, make sure they are sealing correctly. You do positive and negative loop checks 
um, and these can be quite buoyant as well there's a lot of air volume inside of that so that would like to uh, to just lift up you do see some especially on rebreathers again you see like um, metal weights um, so like halfway down the loop you can see like a block of steel and that helps to just drop it down so that the uh, the loop isn't just floating up around your ears it just drops down somewhere neat and tidy um, but yeah yeah they're they're pretty cool and it's it's basically it's all, all of the work is done in the first stage i suppose you'd uh, you'd call it um and then it's just down to uh, to one way valves there's some great videos uh, if you check out alec pierce's um channel alec pierce scuba um he, he's all into that and he's got a whole bunch of them uh there's a great one um i forget where it was somewhere in florida i believe um they did a um a reenactment and uh, and they had all of this this vintage scuba equipment um and yeah they're, they're just all diving on this like twin hose and they have mock fights um underwater which is pretty fun um and yeah I, i'm sure he's got at least one video there must be more than one i believe um and yeah he's probably got a whole bunch of these that actually work and aren't falling apart um but um yeah that's basically how they work you got a a membrane a bit like a modern second stage uh, with a little lever and then yeah as you inhale it just opens up the uh, uh, the lever uh, some of them work in slightly different ways uh, this one's got extra mechanisms to it as well but um, but yeah that's the, the basic function it's all done behind you that's why a lot of photographers quite like them as well because all the bubbles are behind you um they, they too take a slightly different training to uh, to learn how to use them but um yeah they, they are they are pretty cool and um that's basically how they work as as you say one way valves yeah check out alec pierce uh i think it's just alec pierce scuba um they're the best place to uh, to find information about twin hose regulators uh because he was there using them um back in the day um and yeah, I, I imagine he's got a few functional regulators as well that I'm sure he'd be more than happy to uh, to show you around. And I imagine there's a, a couple of videos on his channel that um, that explain them. But uh, yeah, they're they're a clever design, and <clears throat> I can see why they came up with this design. Uh, I think it originally came off of um, like propane cylinders. They they um, like had a similar concept to that to reduce that. Um, pressure coming in and uh, and they figured that oh hey yeah we could um, use that to uh, to breathe from if we just filled it with uh, with breathing gas and then eventually the the single hose came out um and yeah now we have modern second stages which um which certainly work and uh, and of course rebreathers as well which i think came out before open circuit but um yeah it's a clever design if you ever get a chance to uh, to use one i would recommend it they are um they are pretty funky to um uh, to test out and uh, and use it's obviously better to do it with instruction because they don't um function the same way as a traditional second stage they don't have a purge button any other questions uh, by all means pop them down in the comment section underneath this video uh, if you have any um, twin hose regulators and you still dive them by all means pop them down on the um, uh, underneath this video any links to videos uh, i'll approve them um, yeah just pop them down in the comment section underneath this video uh, and remember to head over to our website scuba dive at mag.com check out all the awesome things that we do over there on the website Thank you for watching everybody don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um yeah thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving